If you've ever wanted to be, or you are currently thinking of being, or you would like to be part of an online community to help you master pharmaceutical calculations, then this video is for you and we are starting right now. Hello everyone, it's Dr. Damkwa from RX Calculations. And first of all, I just wanted to say I hope you and your loved ones are staying safe during these strange and unprecedented times that we are facing. But I do come with some great news. We have just launched a free platform designed to connect students and professionals who share a passion for pharmaceutical calculations. So let's jump right onto the platform so we can take a look at what it looks like. So to get to the site, go to www.rxcalculations.com and once you are there, you can click on forum and it will take you to the platform. The other way you could get there is to type forum.rxcalculations.com and it will bring you to the same web page. Now, once you're on the platform and you are not signed in yet, this is what you see. You will see the home page and you see some text that really is designed to remind you as to what the purpose of the platform is. It tells you to join the movement, master pharmaceutical calculations. And then it tells you that we want to make it so that you never have to worry about failing an exam or compromising patient safety because of a calculations error. Connect with students and professionals who share a passion for pharmaceutical calculations and skyrocket your understanding. So you also see the create a new account at the top here. And in the next video, I will show you how to create an account and how to sign up so that you can have all the privileges to ask and answer questions on the platform. So as we move down the page, we see in the left sidebar a few tabs and these tabs allow you to navigate easily through your feed, especially when the questions are a lot and there are a lot more people on the platform. So the first one is the recent questions tab and what that does is it organizes your feed in terms of the latest question that has been asked. So if, as we scroll through the feed, this will be your feed right here in the middle. You have this question which was posted on February the 26th. And then as we scroll down, we see here February the 24th, February the 23rd, and so on. So it allows you to easily see what the latest question is. The next tab will be the most answered question. Now, when we click on that, it allows us to see the question that has the most response. So here we see there's the simple IV rate question, and that has five answers to this particular question. Then we scroll down, we see four answers, three, two, and so on. So if you wanted to see which question has the most responses, and maybe that is a very hot topic that needs my attention. So you can easily sort your feed in that way so that you can see what the most answered question is. Now, if you're just interested in only the answers that have been posted on the feed, then you can click this particular link. And once you click on that, it shows you all the answers that has been posted in a chronological order. So that is basically what this tab allows you to do. So now let's say you're only interested in the questions that have no answers so that you can go ahead and make a contribution on the platform, answer some of those questions. Then you can click the no answers link and that would reorganize your feed so that you see only the questions that have no answers. So in this example, you see two questions with no answers, zero answers, zero answers. If you're also interested in what is the most viewed question, then clicking the most visited link is what is going to allow you to easily navigate to that particular series of questions. So here we see this question, difficult MEQ question has 76 views. And then as we scroll down, we see the next question has 53 views. This question has 30 views and so on. But what if you were interested in the question that has the most engagement so you'll be looking for the question that has a lot of votes you click on the most voted link and then that would reorganize your feed to see which question has the most votes so in this example we see simple IV rate has two votes two votes two votes and then you have one one and a few that have zero now if you just wanted to randomize your feed you can also click this link and it will do that for you 
or you can click it again and then you see something different just to add some variety to your feed so you have absolute control over what your feed will look like and normally most people would like to keep it in the most recent question so that they can see what the latest contribution has been now i'm going to go ahead and click the most visited link and then we can take a look at what the feed actually looks like so the feed is what is in the middle and the first thing that we see is the search box with the phrase what's your question now if i click on the search box it's going to ask me to create an account because you can only ask questions and provide answers to questions on the platform if you are logged in and to be logged in you need to have created an account now it's free to create an account and i'll show you how to do exactly that in the next video how to create an account in the next video beneath the search box is the first question in the feed and then it provides the dates when the question was asked and on the platform we have communities which is basically the categories of questions that you can ask it lets you know which category the question falls into you also have the title of the question and then you have the summary profile of the user so if we hover over the avatar it gives you some summary of the username the location the number of questions that the user has asked how many answers they provided how many of those answers have been designated as best answers to those questions and how many points the user has obtained or achieved at that point in time now if you go ahead and click the view profile you see a more exhaustive version of the user's profile and we'll take a look at that in a minute that's the username and then this blue tick right here indicates that the user has been verified i'll tell you a bit more about how you can become verified once you're on the platform now next to the verified icon you see a badge and the badge indicates your level of contribution on the platform so there are different badges and as you ask and answer questions and do other activities you begin to gain points and gain reputation on the platform and those contributions are signified by the different badges that one can get so in a little bit i'll just show you what the badges looks like and how you can earn those points below that is the summary highlight of the question now beneath the question you have some tags so the meq tag the milli equivalence calculations tag and the pharmaceutical calculations tag so anytime you ask a question you get to tag it so that it's easy for people to identify now below that you have some engagement information so it tells you how many times the question has been upvoted or downvoted how many answers to the question how many times the question has been viewed and how many people are following that question so i'm just going to go ahead and click on the title of the question it will open up a new interface and you can see the thread on that question so the question is basically as it's shown beneath that you can click on answer and when if you are logged in and you click on answer you can go ahead and provide your response to the question so below that you see three answers there are different ways you can answer you can simply put in a response using the the text box you can provide links to the answer if you want to you can actually upload multimedia so video audio you can upload that as well and you can have as many responses as you feel are appropriate now once you've received the responses or once a response has been given it's up to the user who asks the question to determine whether that is the best answer among the lot that have been provided so by selecting it as the best answer you have the designation that your response is the best answer and that also gets noted on your profile as we saw earlier so once the user who asks the question identifies an answer to be the best answer you get this box the green box that says answered other than that you have a red box which says in progress so now let's go ahead and take a look at what the profile looks like so if i click on the username or on the icon it will take you to the profile and in the profile you have a wonderful background you have the avatar and then you have some information that you can easily navigate a brief bio some social media information you could see a snapshot of the number of questions how many answers the user has provided how many have been selected as the best answer how many points the user has obtained or achieved how many people are following and how many people the user is following so you can also see the questions that the user has asked here there's only one question then you can see if the user has created any polls 
there are no polls that have been created by this particular user you also see how many answers or the answers that the user has provided so here the user has provided at least a boatload of answers to some of the questions and then you can also see how many of those answers have been selected as the best answer now at the top you can also see how many questions the user has asked how many people are following this particular user and then you can ask the user a question if you are logged in and you click ask a question you can message them that would be more like a private message between you and the other member of the community so now we can go back to the home page to talk about what is on the right sidebar now on the right sidebar we have a call to action which says ask a question so you can go ahead and click on that and once again because i'm not logged in if i click ask a question it's going to ask me to create an account so i'll show you how that works once you have actually created an account so beneath the call to action button you have a very nice summary of some of the pertinent information on the platform it tells you the number of questions that have been asked the number of answers that have been provided how many users are on the platform and how many best answers have been chosen by the users on the community so below the statistics that have been provided you also have some information on what is trending on the platform so you have pop-up questions here we see the simple IV rate question it seems to be very popular and that's based on the responses that have been provided to the question you also can click on the answers to see what answers are trending you can also click on the tags tab and that gives you some information about the tag cloud and what kinds of tags are trending so beneath that information you also have some summary of the top members on the community and the top members are based off the points that the user has achieved so here we have this user that has 62 points and then the next one has a 41 point so it gives you some idea about those who are really engaged on the platform and really making contributions to answering other people's questions and asking questions as well so i talked about badges and then we can click on the badges tab to have some more information now here the first thing we see is the point system so you have 20 points for signing up 10 points for referring a new user five points for a new post five points when your answer is chosen as the best answer two points for adding an answer one point for adding a new question one point when your question gets a vote one point when your answer gets a vote one point each time a user follows you and one point when you add social media links and so beneath the point system you also have some information about the badge system and the badges ranges from 20 points all the way for a newbie to the grandmaster which is 125 points and somewhere down the line there'll be perks associated with the various points to help motivate members on the community the next tab is the community tab, and the communities are basically categories so if you clicked on one of the categories like pharmaceutical calculation it lets you know all the questions that have been put in that category and so instead of just calling them categories we believe we are building a community so those categories are actually known as communities on our platform so the next tab is the contact tab and here you have a form where you can reach out to the webmaster of the platform if you have any concerns or have any questions so right next to the contact tab is the search box and you can go ahead and do a keyword search in there so let's say we're looking for questions on milli equivalent it begins to pull some recommended auto suggestion and if you click on that you basically can have quick access to questions that have million equivalents in there if you did for example meq is going to give you a whole range of options where meq was used as a term in the question so we have all of these questions being pulled up now if we search for something like IV flow rate there are no questions in there so it tells you sorry no results found now let's go back and do another search for let's say USP it pulls up sterile compounding because there was one question where USP was used now on the top here what we see is we can search by a number of options you can search by questions by answers by categories by tags by post comments post categories post tags and users so let's just do a quick search i'm going to click on the tags to see some of the 
tags that have been used and we can try usb let's add the 800 to it and we can search for question tags so we click on that and it's going to pull the tag so when we click on this we see the question once again so not only can you search for a keyword or a tag you can also search for a user so let's say you're interested in either following or asking a user a question you can put in the username or some part of it you click search now here i didn't put the exact username so you said sorry no results but you can go ahead and click the drop down menu click users click search and it's going to return all the users on the platform who have that phrase that are typed in the search box as part of their username so let's say we're interested in communicating with this particular user we wanted to ask them a question then now we can easily do that by clicking on ask a question now before you can ask a question once again you need to be logged in and to be logged in you first need to create an account so in the next video i'm going to show you how to create an account so this is a quick overview of the platform this platform is designed specifically for students and professionals who share a passion for pharmaceutical calculations and want to really improve their calculations ability or help other people do so so i hope you found this video tutorial useful if you did be sure to like it and share it and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i'll get to them as soon as i see them if you'd like to learn more pharmaceutical calculations tips tricks and strategies then don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss anything thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video